All right. G'day legends. Uh, it's Aaron Potari here for another Canyon Collective Tech Tuesday. Um, today the beautiful people at Crank Brothers have sent me some pedal refresh kits. So I um, thought we'd show you how to rebuild a mallet DH. <laughs> Get cracking shall we so first things first obviously you're going to need a cup of tea cup of coffee or something today i've chosen coffee it's a coffee kind of day um, you will need eight mil you will need eight mil you need six mil some form of a punch um you could use a flathead screwdriver whatever hammer obviously pedals refresh kit um and some grease so let's get cracking. First things first, crack open your refresh kit. You do have instructions in here. So if you want to read them, it's actually beneficial, believe it or not. You can probably do it without them, but anyway, slide all that out. You got nifty little tool that you'll need later for removing your bushing. Um, and then we will crack this pedal open. So for, uh, instructional purposes we're going to use a brand new set of pedals um yours probably won't be but it's all good you'll uh you'll realize how noisy your pedals can be yeah you'll do this and be like oh dang everything's quiet again it's a miracle so let's get cracking first things first eight mil in the base you can do this in a crank arm if you want um i find it easier to do it in a vice so you just mount your eight mil up in the vice like that Easy done. You got a nice level playing field for your pedal. Six mil to open the open the top of it up. Just bang that one off. Happy days. You'll then get your eight mil socket and undo the nut on the inside there. It is quite a long thread. See the nut inside there, happy days. Now your pedal will just slide on open like that, beautiful. Your pedal is now off of its axle, so we're sweet there. Now what we'll do, this is where you can either use a flathead screwdriver, whack it in, and just knock that top bearing out, or I'm lucky enough that I have a punch that works perfectly. So slot that down there, Try not to smash your fingers, knock that little sucker out, pull your punch or your flathead out and pop it aside for now. Now this is the nifty little tool that you need to remove the bushing on the pedal. So that just slots down, just give it a bit of a luck tap to get it through the pedal. Now you see that it's in line with the bushing there, just give it a good bit of a thump. Whack that out, you see the bushing's moved. And there's your bushing. So sometimes these are a bit of a pain to get out, so you might need like a punch or, or put it in a vise and just drag it out or whatever. Whatever tickles your fancy to get it out. Just like that, obviously it's gotta be tight because the bushing's tight, so. So yeah, that's that. <clears throat> that's your pedal pretty much apart. Slide your old rubber rubber grommets off. Take note of the way that they are orientated because you need that. Get off my fingers at a later date or a later minute because it doesn't take very long to do this and it's a killer thing to do for your pedals. So clean your axle up, clean the inside of your pedal up, clean the threads, anything that you feel needs to be cleaned, really. So that's cool beans. So we're gonna look, we're gonna have a look at what bushing it is. We're gonna grab the other bushing from the kit, a new bushing from the kit. And we are going to find the side without the threads for the bushing, without the threads, not with the threads, without the threads. The bearing goes on the side with the threads. So whack a little bit of grease in there. Drag it around with your fingy, cover up the surface. Get your bushing in there. Square it up, give it a bit of a tap to get it in there. Now you can use whatever, you can use a socket, you can use whatever to get this in. Once again, my punch works mint, so. 
you'll hear it obviously change tune once it's bottomed out there so that's all in there perfect happy days now we'll flip her over and we want to get the little bearing in there so same deal bit of grease squirt that in there you can use the it's a bit deeper so you use the little knob on your and your grease gun or however however you're getting it in there get it in there nicely pop your bearing straighten it up now perfect tool for this is a nine mil socket it sits flush on the edges of the bearing and then just give that a quick quick tap same deal you'll hear once it's seated in there beautiful so that's your bushing and your bearing replaced so now that we've replaced your bushing and your bearing um your axle is the next port of call so basically put your axle back on your allen key make sure your axle is clean obviously um and now we are going to slot your grommets down so this is what i was saying before with learn which way they're orientated um the black one sits face up with the little grooves so if you slide that down first as far as it can go and then this one down the opposite way on top of it so just like so and then grease basically where your bearing and bushing seat grease all that up make that nice put some grease on your on your little grommets there otherwise they have a tendency to squeak if they're not greased now this is all clean all happy whack some grease inside your bushing perfect slot your pedal back down over push it down nicely nice and firm so now we'll grab a fresh nylock out of the kit here get if you can get the old nylock out of your whack that on there that a nice tighten up like that happy days now obviously these ones red caps black caps whatever you see fit so we're gonna whack a black one on here tighten that down with your six mil hold your pedal body because it's going into your pedal body not going onto your axle give that a nice tighten up so she doesn't come off happy days you have once you've pushed your bushing in uh, pushed your grommet in you have a nice rebuilt crank brothers mallet dh so this pretty much is parallel with other crank brothers pedals enduro uh, mallet enduro candies etc etc um if you can do this you can do any of them so give it a crack it's good it's easy um and it'll make your bike feel a million times better because your points of contact are the most important part of your bicycle so yeah rock and roll um enjoy thanks for watching we'll be back next week with another tech tuesday um hope you enjoyed and i hope it was helpful cheers